Every year the projects are different, uh, always on the cutting edge of uh, technology. It's amazing, it's not, these are not standard projects, so our education is set up such that companies come up with their assignments, their problems, and uh, students are trying to solve them. It doesn't matter if it's going to be the thermodynamics of the cooling cycle or the programming of the code, it was a combination of a lot of engineering fields coming to play together. I like their dedication and they were pretty professional about it, so yeah, I think uh, they showed uh, how good workers will they be one day in the uh, aerospace industry? In Holland is a, a unique location where they do design, uh, build and test uh, new ideas. And uh, the fact that building is a part of the study, that is why I uh, am here. And that we have the space and the, and the possibilities to build things, not only to design them, but also to build them. I think that's very important. This is our proof of concept. It's still a prototype, it's not a finished version. Um, it was really nice to see, um, for me, that they learned so much and opening their eyes about well, how structures work, why we design planes as we do. It's one thing to be able to design a cool project, but then to actually make it a reality, you know, with, with real funds and the real clients that you actually have to negotiate at the end of the day. Learned a lot of different yep. manufacturing methods and yeah, how to handle composites and uh, a lot of hands-on experience. It was really, yep. really nice. The most enjoyable part we're working with Fokker was getting to visit their facility in Wunsdrecht. We got to see many of the different uh, projects that they were working on. Personally, I learned a lot about electronics and software design uh, and also about being extremely precise with what is expected from the client and defining that very clearly. Well, I learned from this project that uh, I should never underestimate the, the power of our students uh, because I, at the beginning there was almost a moment that we stopped the project but uh, they came together and really growed as a team and uh, yeah, they they've, have really had a remarkable progress uh, since, that, uh, since that moment. So I think the teamwork really, really improved and is a lesson to take away from the future. Yeah. And all the companies are working on advanced technologies, trying to uh, yeah, pursue sustainable aviation. So for students, uh, uh, it's, it's good to be in touch with uh, what's, what's going on uh, in society. Uh, We've uh, done a project for Fokker, uh, GKN Aerostructures, and uh, it's this, uh, we've made, the, we've built a stand for a uh, microstructure, and with the stand we can uh, measure displacements and uh, strain of the uh, aluminium uh, sheet that is on here. We did a project for Fokker Services Group. Uh, on laser ablation of composite surfaces. Fox Services is of course a very well established company, so it's a great company to be working for and it's exactly in the direction of our studies. Um, plus, we, all of us, we have base level understanding before this project started of lasers um, and it's a, it's a very interesting topic that we all wanted to know more about and so we jumped at it. The, our group worked with Fokker GKN Aerostructures and we built a stretch forming machine simulator and the purpose of this is basically just simulating the movements of the actual stretch forming machine and basically what the machine does is that it takes with the grippers a sheet of metal and it stretches over a die and this, this simulator is supposed to simulate the machine movements and also show them through an interface with 
Rhino and Grasshopper and Firefly into the screen. Uh, I've always been interested in space, so uh, from Aztec they made us uh, make the CubeSat. As a group we also thought that this was uh, the assignment that best uh, fitted our uh, interests. One of the main challenges uh, during this project was uh, the integration of the entire system. The fact that we could uh, like build everything ourselves and have like a big test at Aztec uh, to put it in the centrifuge and see what uh, it does during uh, several G levels. I'm working for Airbus Netherlands, located in Leiden, and I'm system architect for optical ground stations. They have shown the feasibility of the principal alignment task that we were aiming at, which is very positive. We got also inside information of the types of drones available on the market and their constraints, payload capacity, which was a valuable input for the future study work. Uh, my role in the project was uh, team coach. So I helped them uh, help the group out with uh, all, the, all the work and to start up the, the project and to have uh, weekly meetings with them to see uh, the progress and to, uh, yeah, to guide them towards this, uh, this great setup that we're seeing behind me. We did the thermal management system project for MIF Aerospace. It is basically a test bed designed to test the performance of this cooling plate, which is designed by MAVE to cool the batteries on their all-electric aircraft. And uh, we designed everything from ground up, uh, including embedded electronic systems with fully safety features and uh, industrial-grade heating elements, and also a data acquisition system for, for you, for MAVE, to run their tests and validate their uh, performance. What we liked Robert, collaborating with MAVE was, one was the support and the funding that they gave us. They were very... Uh, open. Open, yeah. This was also new for us. So in the process, uh, uh, while supervising them and uh, giving them uh, some advices, I learned all that with them. Dan detect hij dat? Ja. Well, we did um, uh, for Fokker Services. Um, they uh, six months ago they assigned a project about laser ablation. Their goal was to make it mobile and uh, automated. So we uh, uh, borrowed a robot arm from Dormax uh, suppliers, and um, we are able to demonstrate that. Uh, uh, the laser ablation repair process can be done via a robot arm. We work for Orange Aerospace and uh, for the project of Inolan, which is the Dragonfly. We worked on making a new wing internal structure for the front wing, which is the canard. And uh, our job was to make it as light as possible, as with still withstanding all the stresses and like all the forces that it's supposed to withstand. Since the wing is very big and there are many things to consider, we did focus on only one part, which is making the lug connection to the spar. And so this is what we work on. And we had to make a, a carbon fiber spar. We made a connection and for our wing, it was um, subjected to, to compression. So it was not tensile, but it was compressed then. We had a big problem. Uh, we did our tests and the lug started to buckle, so it started to do like this, and it made a dent here. It's very difficult to see, but it's you have a dent there. We'll see on the other side, it's maybe more visible. We marked it out. It's a failure that we did not expect, um, so it's a good learning point uh, for this project. I think when we heard the big crack noise of the spar, uh, and um, yeah, that was probably the, the biggest thing. So, for Dawn Aerospace, we built a repeated heating test chamber that would be able to test a sample that they give us of any shape to 700 Kelvin with the capability of expanding further to 1200 Kelvin. They were extremely like open in how they did everything and they were always really willing to help. If you contacted them, they would respond quickly. They would order parts, they wouldn't really like uh, 
say that something couldn't be done, they would try and encourage you to find another way to do it. So that was good. I guess working with Dawn, I really enjoyed it. Um, and the kind of client uh, designer relation that there is uh, is something that I haven't really had experience with before, so that was cool. Need to make a composite rotor because their uh, previous design was made from aluminium and it was too heavy, so they wanted to uh, have as light as possible. Uh, this is a, yeah, a third of the weight of this, so this is like one yeah. kilo, this one was three. It's uh, quite nice, the company is very happy with it. Yeah. Of course, uh, naturally the challenge because Everyone knows, anyone have a guess what the strongest composite material is? We created a speckle pattern application tool for the NLR. Uh, it applies a uh, DYC pattern on a uh, coupon, which uh, then uh, different tests can be applied on um, to see, for example, deformation of the coupon itself. Yeah, this is our uh, proof of concept. It's still a prototype, it's not a finished version. It was the first, uh, first ever assignment really with a company and it well, if it got some, you have to do uh, plan meetings, etc. with the company itself. You have to find the requirements they want. And then you have to really build and design an, uh, a concept or a prototype on their requirements. In the end, it was a uh, pretty good project and uh, we got the results we wanted. The creativity of the groups and the uh, thinking outside the box and eventually coming up with the right um, solution to the problem eventually. So it's important to do this project together with the NLR and in Holland because we're both working on the, on the same techniques. Um, we are relatively in, in the same stages of development. Uh, what you see is that there's not an industry standard yet of applying your speckle pattern. Yet it is important to apply a right speckle pattern to get realistic uh, and reliable results during testing. We are working with the SAMXL, we are ECM, Efficient Cooling and Manufacturing. And uh, with collaboration with the SAMXL, we were able to create a cooling system for a robotic 3D arm. This is how it started, this is what SAMXL gave us, and we had to turn it into this one. This is our final product test result with our cooling system that we did. It was uh, such a nice experience because it's quite different from working with only projects that school uh, are responsible for. It was completely different. We had to um, like go there ourselves. We had to actually make presentations, be more, be more professional, and we had to show them and update them all the time. That gained, that gained, made us gain a lot of experience in that field. Uh, the robotic arm that they have, that was really cool to see. When, when we had the company visit, we went there and we saw the robotic arm and other cool machines that they have. It was really cool about Sam itself. We did a project for uh, GKN and Fokker Aerostructures uh, where we needed to design an interior of a new concept plane and well, we're sitting in it now. Um, uh, our project was basically uh, to build a full-scale mock-up uh, to convince stakeholders of the feasibility of the concept. So that's why we built it in, uh, in real life uh, on full scale um, to prove to people that this concept can actually work. The negative impact of flying, we have to think of new ways which reduce the impact on the environment of flying. And uh, what we managed to do is uh, we designed a solution based upon a door-to-door -door optimization and this aircraft will reduce the fuel burn consumption by 45%. The outcome of the, of the study is that it is a feasible concept, but also that it can fly in a short time of uh, six years. During building this demonstrator, we tested frequently the stability of the aircraft structure. So the students now know exact where the loads of an aircraft go, that is the structure-wise part of it, but the luggage part, we learned that we can store two pieces of hand luggage in this aircraft. What, what I like is uh, the, the spirit of the team, so they really uh, want uh, to do something which is important for the environment in, in this case. So I'm learning day by day through the students just because of yeah, the, the, the advanced technologies they work with and the challenging problems, so uh, it's great.